Hi, my name is Vanessa van Dijk and in this video I'm going to show you how to use Cetaphil's moisturizing cream. It contains key ingredients such as glycerin for hydration, pertolatum and dimethicone to form a protective barrier to reduce moisture loss, and natural oils like sunflower seed and sweet almond for nourishment. Furthermore, it contains niacinamide and vitamin E, which offer skin conditioning and antioxidant benefits. It's also alcohol, fragrance and essential oil free, and it's suitable for dry to very dry skin types, including sensitive skin, without feeling too heavy or greasy. However, for those with normal to oily or even acne prone skin, I would not recommend it as it's likely too rich for you. Now the best way to use such a cream is to use it on its own in a very simple skincare routine. And before doing that, you need to wash your face to remove dirt, sweat and other impurities from the skin. And it's important to choose the right cleanser for your dry to normal skin type. And Cetaphil offers several excellent options, such as their Gentle Skin Cleanser or their Hydrating Foaming Cream Cleanser. Both are very gentle on the skin without stripping the skin of its natural oils. However, if you're trying to remove heavy makeup or stubborn mineral sunscreen in the evening, I recommend using a balm cleanser instead. It's still gentle, hydrating, and it properly lifts it off the skin. But for this demonstration, I'm going to use Cetaphil's Hydrating Foaming Cream Cleanser. So let's get started. Begin by wetting your face with lukewarm to warm water. Then take about one pump of the cleanser. Blend it between your hands and then massage it evenly over your face and neck for about 15 to 30 seconds. After massaging, rinse it off thoroughly with warm water. You can use a soft, clean, damp microfiber washcloth as a helper. It's handy when at the sink to remove the last traces of makeup, sunscreen or even your cleanser. If you use the washcloth, then I recommend rinsing again to make sure no residue is left. Then take a clean towel and gently pat all over your skin to remove any remaining water droplets. And now it's time to apply Cetaphil's moisturizing cream to the face. Scoop out a small amount of the cream, blend it between your fingers and then evenly massage it over your face. You can also include the neck if desired. Leave it on the skin and do not wash it off. That's basically it and you can stop right here. However, if you plan to spend the day outside, I recommend following up with a sunscreen to protect against sun damage. But keep in mind that the cream is rich and contains petrolatum. Although it's not overly heavy, it may not be the best option for use before sunscreen, as this combination could potentially feel uncomfortable during the day, or in the worst case negatively affect the effectiveness of your sunscreen. So what can you do? Well, the simplest option would be to skip the cream in the morning and then just use your sunscreen suitable for your dry skin. That's what I suggest, reserving the cream for the evening or when you're not exposed to the sun. So essentially in the morning you could cleanse the face, pat the skin dry and then use your sunscreen if you're planning to spend the day outside. And then in the evening or when you're not exposed to the sun, clean your face and then use the cream as I just demonstrated. Now there are several options, so choose the one you feel the most comfortable with. And the PowerPoint slides you just saw are available for you to download in the description box down below. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did so, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content and happy skin caring.